Welcome back to Wendy's Way. Today we are going to continue our journey in food and I am going to make something that is not my original recipe. I probably learned it from a YouTube channel. Not remembering right now exactly which one it was. <laughs> but if you haven't seen it and you're interested in making apple butter, I'm going to show you my first attempt at crock pot apple butter because it looks amazing and I love apple butter. I just love it. I like um, butters made out of fruit more so than jellies even. I like apple butter and pumpkin butter and pear butter and yeah, I don't know if you're going to call a pumpkin a fruit, but you know what I mean. <laughs> So I'm going to start off just with the tools that I'm using and then I'll get set up so I can show you the process a little better. I, the reason that I am making apple butter is because a sweet, dear, wonderful friend of mine that I cannot say enough about blessed me with apples, as you can see in the box on the counter behind me. They went to, I think, Gay's Mills somewhere, either in northeastern Iowa, not even sure whether it's Iowa or Wisconsin, where it's located. Anyhow, beautiful orchard, beautiful apples. Uh, the recipe that I'm referring to, they processed approximately five pounds of apples. I think I have more than that. In there but I'm just gonna keep cutting them up until my crock is full but I can still fit the lid on it so I'm starting with apples I believe I have some Cortland and maybe a few Honeycrisp still in there um, they brought me a box that was half and half and I've just been eating the Honeycrisp like crazy even had a couple of them for breakfast this morning with my iced coffee so we're starting with apples, minimum of five pounds. Also a crock pot or slow cooker that we're gonna use. I've got a big old cutting board. I'm gonna have at them with my Rada Cutlery French Chef knife. I don't think I have an apple core and this'll work just peachy for that. I'm not going to peel them. As the recipe showed this morning, that's just really a big waste of time and you're losing a lot of the apple flesh and I think you're losing a lot of the flavor and potentially the color as well since you're going to cook them down to mush anyway. So apples, crock pot, cutting board, French chef. We're going to put in a bit of white sugar and brown sugar uh, just a bit of salt because in a recipe like this salt primarily enhances the flavor rather than actually making it taste like salt we're gonna go for cinnamon and nutmeg and my all-time favorite allspice mmm amazing and water in addition to that um, when it comes to the sugar this gentleman didn't give absolute specifics what I'm going to do is a cup of white sugar and a cup of brown sugar um, probably a teaspoon of salt and at most a quarter to half a teaspoon of each one of the spices that's a lot when it mixes throughout. And um, so I'm gonna get set up to chop them up. I'm actually gonna look and see if I do have a core. Might make things easier. If not, I'll have at them with my French chef and show you how I'm doing it. Thanks again for joining me at Wendy's Way. Oh boy. All right gonna have to give this one up to my girlfriends who sell pampered chef <laughs> I could do it with my French chef knife from Ray to cutlery but I realized in my drawer 
I have an apple corer and slicer. So that's going to save me some time, y'all. I will still chop them in smaller pieces with my knife, but I thought maybe it was a generic one and it wouldn't be that sharp, but I looked at it and it does say Pampered Chef on the top. You're welcome, Lisa. And it also has this protective cover on the back, which tells me that I want to be careful because I might hurt myself if I'm not. So I'm going to add that tool to the repertoire for our crock pot apple butter. All right. This new tripod doesn't have a feature on it. Not that I figured out like my old one. So I'm going to try to do this one handed and show you how well it works. You can see by the apple that's laying here, I threw the core in the compost already, but all it takes is some even pressure. Yeah, I probably won't be able to do it one handed. It is pretty sharp though, you know, and it's not the same as the, yeah, I'm not going to be able to do it one handed. It's not the same as the peeler quarter slicer that everybody's accustomed to. You know, that you have to clamp onto your countertop or onto a block that goes next to it and uh, spin it around. But I don't want them uh, peeled. So here I am. I'm going to keep chopping these apples. And, um, you know, I'm just going to take my French chef now that I've got them in eight pieces. And I'm going to chop them into like one inch and throw them in a bowl, mix them up with my spices and such, and throw them in the crock. And I'll show you when I get to that point. Alrighty. I have chopped up enough apples to fill my crock and still get the lid on. Because for the first while, you're going to be cooking it on high with the lid on. And so that's probably not half the apples that were in the box. So, I've got more apple butter coming. <laughs> I'm not going to be a fool like I've been in the past and just go ahead and chop them all up and then go, oh, snap. <laughs> I do have two crock pots and I do have an electric roaster, but I don't feel like using it and doing that much at a time. And uh, the other crock pot, I need to get into action here shortly because I'm making soup for family supper tonight. So... There we are. All right, into this bowl full of apples. I am gonna throw, why did I pull both my, yeah, it doesn't matter. Alrighty, I'm gonna throw in a cup of white sugar, just a cup. And this is, oh, it's gotta be at least five, six pounds of, of apples. So, a cup of white sugar. Cup of brown sugar. You know, I'm probably not gonna pack it. We'll just, you know, fill it really well. <laughs> okay, we got our sugars. Down you go. Now, I know, my lighting, my kitchen, we'll get it under control one of these days. It's not so bad. Teaspoon, salt. I'm approximating, but I'm sure that'll work just fine. Half teaspoon, all spice. Mm -mm. I might even go for a rounded on that one because it's my favorite. Cinnamon. You know, it's pretty bad when you buy a container that big and you feel the need to refill it. <laughs> it wasn't me. I'm going to blame Lungizi on that one because, uh, you know, because I can, because he's in Kentucky. <laughs> Teaspoon of that make. <laughs> okay. And I'm thinking, oh, cup and three quarter. 
or so of water. It's going to evaporate anyway. It's just going to help. Oh, I forgot the spoon. Good thing I got it right here in front of me. I'm going to use one of these Rada ice cream scoops. We're just going to stir and stir and stir and stir until we have coated all of these apples with spices and sugars. The guy I watched did it in his crock pot. If I tried to do this in my crock pot, I'd have it all over the rim and all over the floor and the countertop, you know, cause I'm messy. <laughs> really messy. <laughs> uh, alrighty. Did that. I know you can't see it and it doesn't look like much. I'm gonna pour this into my crock pot. I'm gonna turn it on high and um, it'll be hours, I've been told. I'll keep an eye on it and I'll get back to you when I think it's time to take the lid off and crank it down below. So I hope you all have a beautiful day while I'm having a beautiful day. And for you, I'll be back in a flash. All right, this has been in the crock, I, uh, boy, I can't even approximate, at least eight hours. And, you know, it's just evaporating and evaporating, getting thicker and thicker. It's on low. The lid's been off now for probably a couple hours. And I'm just going to keep on cooking until it gets a little further. And then I'm going to get out the immersion blender. You know, time of day that it is. I may shut it off and cover it until morning and start over <laughs> because I started it too late in the day. But anyhow, this is what the apples are looking like. They're even brighter on the camera than they are, you know, from eyes. It's more brown in the crock from the eyesight, from the spices. So I'll be back when we do the next step. Here we go again at the apple butter. It's been a while. <laughs> again and if I sound a little out of breath it's because I've been cleaning house again this morning it was time to tackle the bedroom bedding everything move the bed move everything whoop let me go this way I have a new immersion blender I'm so excited. I'm ready to use it. Gotta put it under. We'll hit it slow for the first time. Wow, that really sucks her down to the bottom. Let's try the other setting. Wow, that's a little too much. <laughs> Whoa, splatter. Alrighty, well you can see how that's working. I'm going to keep going until it is fully pureed and let it continue on, working its way down to lovely, lovely thickness. I love apple butter. Finally finished the apple butter. It took a good long time. I'm going to run through another batch today because I still have a bunch of apples left, but that one crock pot full of apples, sugar, water, cinnamon, nutmeg, allspice, and I think a little salt. Gave me two and a half pints of apple butter that I have put some on my homemade bread. And that's what I'm having for breakfast is toast. I just wanted to show you the consistency. 
of the apple butter and the color is that not gorgeous and yummy and oh my goodness huh it's like applesauce on steroids you know it's just got all the most amazing num nums i can imagine all my favorite spices oh it's just so good all righty now it's time for the taste test all right, I know the lighting is not the best right here, right now, but I need to eat some of this apple butter. Oh my goodness. I love apple butter. Mm. You know, it doesn't need any butter under it because it has enough moisture to soften up the toast. Oh, it has so much flavor. Oh my goodness. So, a good crock pot full of apples with a cup of white sugar, a cup of brown sugar. I think I put in about a teaspoon of salt and a half teaspoon cinnamon nutmeg and allspice and just about Two cups of water, if I remember right. It takes a long time. Honestly, I even turned the crock off overnight and covered it and turned it back on in the morning to let it go again. But I took it to the point where everything was soft and soupy on high, covered. And once it had broken down and there was a lot of moisture, then I turned it down to low and turned the lid sideways, honestly. I didn't totally uncover it for quite a while. And, you know, let it evaporate more and just stirred and stirred and stirred and stirred and stirred. And, you know, you'll know when it gets about to the consistency where it's spreadable, kind of like peanut butter. And after, uh, you know, I just put it in refrigerator jars. I haven't canned it. The jars are not sealed. So this apple butter will go in the refrigerator and, you know, I'll be making some more and I'll just be sharing it with friends. It's not something that I'm going to be able to put into the pantry, um, you know, for use later. I'll put it in the refrigerator and, you know, maybe another time I will work on canning it. But this time, mm, I'm just going to have that. Oh, I wish I could share it with you. <laughs> it's absolutely delicious. All right. I hope that you have a beautiful day, as I am going to have a beautiful day. And may the good Lord who blesses me each and every day of my life bless you as well, today and always. Amen.